How is it going? This is Zidane here from Recommended.com and this step-by-step -step guide will be showing you how to bypass the TPM in Windows 11 and later versions. Welcome back. First of all, we advise you to erase your disk or wipe it using various software in the market. We recommend using Hill Disk as we are erasing ours with it, one of the most efficient erasers. I'm finished to move on to the second step, which is to boot in from your USB device. If you have problems booting correctly from your USB, you can check the links below the video, which will be providing you with the step-by-step -step guide on how to prepare your USB and set up bootable Windows ISO on it. But we have booted properly into our USB and as you can see here the Windows version just select the language time and currency format and the keyboard and next we hit the install now wait a few seconds but now we are redirected to put in our product key and to proceed you can just hit I don't have a product key for now Right. Next, you choose the version you want to select. We have different versions. We'll opt for Windows 11 Pro. After selecting the version you want to, just hit the next. Well, Ebola, the message that you will receive if you have not already bypassed the EPM, which is this PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to install this version of Windows. And you are provided with a link you can check for further details which will inform you that your device is not TPM enabled and the setup will freeze there and you cannot go any further. To bypass this message, we need to hit the Shift plus F10. Hit the Shift button in here and at the same time press the F10. This will open the CMD on your device Right. Here we'll be typing the notepad.exe. We'll execute the notepad in order to type in some lines of code to bypass the EPM. Right. Hit enter and the notepad is displayed. Right. Next we add on to the top left and we select open. Next, we select this PC and from it, we select the boot disk. If the file does not appear, we just select all files. Good. And voila, you have the last one, which is the TPM and secure boot. Select the same folder and instead of opening it, we'll be selecting right click and select merge. A caution message will appear. She's warning you that adding information can unintentionally change or delete values and cause component to stop working correctly. If you do not trust the source of this information, do not add it to the registry. It will say, we are sure, just hit yes. Right, the keys have and the values have been successfully added to the registry. Hit OK. Let's close this now. We have ended also with the Finished also with the notepad. Great. Now we can proceed with the installation as usual. Hit next. As you can see here, we have the license terms, acceptance. Just hit accept and hit next. Custom. Select the partition you want to install your windows on it. This one will Format it also. Make sure everything works perfectly. Good. After that, we hit next. Et voila, your Windows installation has proceeded and it is starting properly. You need to wait until it finishes. And we'll check if it, it loads correctly without problems. Your system may restart many times, so just be patient until it finishes. And here, as you can see, the system 
has finished correctly and it will be launched in just in a few minutes and everything going the right way and this is a fresh new Windows 11 installation. Hope this helped you bypass the EPM annoying message in Windows 11 and get back to work. If so, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, like the video and hit the bell icon to stay notified as soon as we upload the new updates. The next tutorial, this is your host, Zidane. Peace.